So we're inside the Nissan Navara truck. First of all, what is the system from factory? You got tweeters on top of the dash, mid base in the bottom of the door and rear speakers. So no amp and no designated sub. So first of all, grab your headphones guys because we're gonna listen to the car now. I'm gonna play a couple of tracks and then give you kind of my insight in terms of how the system sounds and playing via Bluetooth. And at the end of the system, once we're all done and complete with a new system, what I'm gonna do is have a listen to it and share the entire thing with you again. And you'll be able to definitely, I'm sure, hear the difference. So grab your headphones guys and you probably won't enjoy this, but you get to hear what it sounds like. So I'm gonna play about three quarter volume. So, First original thoughts after listening to that little bit of music there. The volume's not too bad, it's okay. Uh, the new amplification system we're gonna be adding in plus the new speakers will be able to handle a lot more. So that will be a big, big improvement there. But yeah, I mean, overall from stock, actually not too bad, but just wait to hear what we're gonna be doing to it. But let's get on with today's video. So a bit of an overview of the products that we've got going in. The Hertz Milo Legend set are gonna be the front end, providing clarity from the tweeters and mid bass from those six and a half inch drivers. We've got a sub going in, two amplifiers plus rear speakers. It's gonna sound absolutely phenomenal. first step of building a system is to use sound deadening. The next step is building a sub box. We first of all do that on software, then it goes over to our fabrication suite where we then build and design everything according to the drawings that we've already made on the software. Then it moves over to our trimming section to make it look inch perfect. To get the best base transfer into a vehicle, the sub box needs to be properly made for the sub itself and bolted down into the vehicle really securely. This sub box is going to be completely hidden behind the factory seat. So the next step is installing the speakers, which is done completely in-house using our 3D printed adapter rings. These are printed with 100% infill, making the system fully reversible. To deliver the higher frequencies, we're using the Melee Legend tweeter using the 3D printed adapters, but it's all gonna be completely hidden. We then need to get all the cables into the amplifier and then set that all up, all via a computer and tune it. So the install is complete and what a journey it has been. Project Navara has been an absolute joy to work on and it sounds pretty phenomenal. I can't wait to share it with you. So without further ado, let's go.
hope that comes across well on camera. I mean, that is absolutely phenomenal. And the nicest thing about this entire system is that not one thing is on display. Factory radio, everything is completely hidden. You've got Mille Legend tweeters at the top, Mille Legend full, fully active front end, Voce's in the rear, a 10 inch sub, shallow mounted Hertz sub, hidden away, out of sight, no loss of space, plus two amplifiers in this system. The system absolutely rocks and I'm sure the owner is gonna absolutely love it. So thank you very much for sharing the entire journey with us and I hope you've enjoyed today's video and the upgrade that we've carried out on the Navara. So thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.